Hi, my name is Shijaz Abdullah and I am a Solution Architect Manager at Amazon Web Services. Today we're going to talk about working with backups on Amazon FSx for Windows File Server. Amazon FSx for Windows File Server provides fully managed Windows File Servers backed by a fully native Windows file system. The two primary resources in the Amazon FSx for Windows File Server are file systems and backups. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can work with automatic daily backups for Amazon FSx for Windows File Server. I'm also going to show you a demo on how you can create your own backups uh, from your Amazon FSx file systems how you could restore from these backups and lastly how you can delete backups when you no longer need them finally i'm also going to show you how you can set up a custom backup schedule working with automatic daily backups amazon fsx automatically takes backups of your file systems once a day these daily backups are taken during the daily backup window that you've defined when you created the file system. During the backup operation, storage I.O. might be suspended briefly, so it is important that you choose a backup window that does not cause any disruption to your business. Typically, this is just um, a few seconds um, that the I.O. operations might be suspended. Backups are retained uh, for a certain period of time, and this period of time is called the retention period. By default, backups are retained for 7 days. However, you can change the retention period to anywhere in a range of 0 to 35 days. In this demo, I'll show you how you can create, restore and delete backups that you create on Amazon FSx for Windows File Server. We are now on the Amazon FSx dashboard on the AWS Management Console. You can see that I've already created a Windows file system named File System 1. To create a backup of this file system, I simply select the file system and then I go to the Actions menu and then I click Create Backup. Now, Once I choose Create Backup, I need to provide a backup name for this backup. I'm going to call it Backup 2. I can use um, up to 256 uh, characters to name the backup and that includes numbers, uh, white spaces and special characters. I click create backup and you can see a status message on the top that states that the backup is being created. In order to see the list of backups that I've created for my file systems, I simply click the backups option on the sidebar. In this screen I can see all the backups that I've created so far for all my file systems and I can also see the status of the backups. The last backup that I just initiated is in a creating stage. In order to restore a backup that I've already created, I simply select the backup from which I want to restore and then I choose the restore backup option. Now when I do that I need to supply the name of a new FSx file system to which the restore will occur. I'm going to call it file system 2. Now this page looks a lot similar to the page that you would see for while you create a new Amazon FSx file system but you can't change many of these options. Um, you can only specify a file system name and you can change the throughput capacity but you can't change for example the capacity of the storage or the deployment type for instance. Uh, in the network and security section I'm going to specify the same VPC uh, and further down I cannot change this option either. It's going to be uh, AWS managed Microsoft Active Directory, the same Active Directory that I used previously and 
I can change the maintenance preferences for the new file system that would be restored uh, and I can set the, um, the window for the automatic backups that, ha that would happen daily. I can also set up uh, a retention period as well. I'm going to choose the defaults and click next. On this page, I can review uh, the summary of the settings that I chose. Then I click create file system. What's happening now is that a new file system is being created named file system 2 and this is actually a restore from the backup that I've selected at the beginning of the process. And that's how you'd restore a file system from a backup on Amazon FSx for Windows File Server. Now let's take a look at how you can delete an existing backup. For this I would click on the backups option again on the sidebar and then I would choose the backup that I want to delete and then simply click the delete backup option. I need to confirm that I really want to delete this backup because this action cannot be undone. I review that and I just click delete backups and then the backup is deleted. In the next demo, I'm going to show you how you can set up a custom backup schedule for automated backups on Amazon FSx for Windows File Server. In order to create a custom backup schedule, we have a solution uh, published on the Amazon FSx for Windows File Server documentation. Uh, this is essentially a CloudFormation template that you can deploy into your AWS account. What the CloudFormation template deploys is an Amazon CloudWatch event and an AWS Lambda function. How it works behind the scenes is that a, an Amazon CloudWatch event is triggered based on a cron schedule pattern that you supply. So this could be a daily backup, could be a weekly or a monthly one. And when the CloudWatch event is triggered based on the cron expression, uh, an AWS Lambda function is triggered. Uh, what does the AWS Lambda function do? It invokes the Create Backup API on Amazon FSx for Windows File Server, which initiates a backup of your file system. The AWS Lambda function also describes the backups that are already on the Amazon FSx for Windows File Server and it deletes any backups that are outside the retention period that you've configured also as a parameter on the uh, CloudFormation template. Um, lastly, uh, it also sends a notification using the Amazon Simple Notification Service in case you'd like to get a notification when the backup uh, operations happen. I'm now on the Create Stack page uh, for the CloudFormation service in the AWS Management Console and I'm going to uh, paste the Amazon S3 URL for the uh, FSx schedule backups template. The URL for this uh, template is available in the documentation for Amazon FSx for Windows File Server. I'm going to click Next and I'll need to supply a name for the stack. Let me call it Weekly Backups. And I need to also um, provide some parameters for this. Um, firstly, I need the file system ID for the Amazon FSx file system that I want to back up. I quickly pop into the Amazon FSx dashboard and I'm going to copy the file system ID for file system one. Go back to the CloudFormation uh, template and paste that file system ID. Next, I need to provide a cron schedule for the backups. This is a cron expression for the CloudWatch events. Now, if you're not familiar with the cron expressions, you can review the documentation for CloudWatch events. For now, I'm just going to type in a cron expression that um, that is essentially going to take a backup every Monday, which is day one of the week, at 2 a.m. 
so essentially this is a weekly backup that takes place every Monday at 2 a.m. Next, I'm going to set the retention period for my backups. I'm going to change this to 365. So essentially it's going to um, retain the backups for a year. I'm going to give a name for these backups that will show up on the Amazon FSX console. And lastly, I can supply an email address for the backup notifications. Um, uh, this is powered by Amazon Simple Notification Service. And next, I'm just going to review these settings. Nothing to change over here. Click next again. And lastly, I need to check this little box acknowledging that AWS CloudFormation can create IAM resources with custom names. Click create stack. And now the stack is being created. This is going to take a few minutes. And once it's done, uh, we'll have everything set up for a weekly backup um, that happens every Monday at 2 a.m and the backups would be retained for a year. We can now see that the stack has finished creating uh, with the status of create complete. What I'm going to do next is that I'm going to create one more stack based on the same template, but this time I'm going to create a, um, a new stack for a monthly backup with a larger retention period. So same steps again, I'm going to um, paste the URL for the template and click next. I'm going to enter a stack name. This time it's going to be monthly backups and I'm going to use the same file system ID for file system one and paste it in there. For the cron um, schedule pattern, I'm going to use a different one. I'm going to use a cron expression that does a monthly backup. So on day one of every month at 2 a.m., a backup is going to be created. I'm going to use a larger retention period this time. I'm going to provide a retention uh, period of 7,555 days. And I'm going to call this monthly backup uh, for the for the purpose of the notification I'm going to provide my own email address and then click next and just review these click next again now on this page at the very end I check that box to acknowledge that AWS CloudFormation may create uh, IAM resources with custom names and I click create stack. So another stack is being deployed now. Um, this time it's for monthly backups with a retention period of 7,555 days, which is basically about 20 years. We can now see that uh, the monthly backups um, stack has also been created with the status of create complete. So now I have two um, CloudFormation templates that have been deployed, two stacks created, one for weekly backups um, with a retention period of 365 days and another one that does monthly backups with a retention period of about 20 years. So in this demo, I, I showed you how you can set up a custom backup schedule for Amazon FSx for Windows File Server. In this video, you learned how you can manage backups on Amazon FSx for Windows File Server. You can learn more about Amazon FSx for Windows File Server by referring to the documentation on the AWS website. Thank you for watching.